Okay, so we know that a statistic is used to estimate a parameter. A parameter comes from a population. It might be the mean of the population. It might be a proportion of the population. A statistic is then used to estimate that parameter, which is perhaps unknown. All right, so um, what does it mean then for that statistic to be an unbiased estimator? Okay, so it says here that it is an unbiased estimator if the mean of its sampling distribution is equal to the value of the parameter being estimated. So uh, we need the mean of the sampling distribution to, you know, uh, equal out to accurately uh, reflect what the true value of the, of the unknown parameter is. Okay, so we can actually illustrate this if we keep our population small. So we'll just say we have a population of five words again, and we're interested in the number of letters, the length of the word. So we are the Mighty Panthers makes a population of five words, and we will just say we are sampling two. So we'll have a sample size of two words randomly selected. And so if we did this over and over and over again, uh, would the mean of all our sample means be the mean of the population? Now we could actually calculate the true mean of the population because we have a small population size, two plus three plus three plus six plus eight divided by five, right? So that would actually be the true mean of the population, the parameter we would be interested to know. Now, then what are we talking about the sampling distribution? Well, let's take each sample of a particular size. So in this case, uh, each sample of size two is what we're going to do to keep it simple. And would the mean of that statistic, which is now the mean of all of the means, right, would that average out to be uh, 4.4 because the true mean parameter here if we take the mean of the population right the mean x x is the uh, number of letters in a word here and uh, that is 4.4 so here's all the possible uh, means like for example if we average out two and three, number of letters in we and number of letters in R. If our sample is consists of we and R, that's 2.5. We and the, that's three plus two, average out 2.5. We and mighty, that's the average of two and six, which is four. So I added up all the possible sample means that you could get from taking samples of size two. There are 10 of them, so if I divide by 10, that's 4.4. So we would say the sample mean is an unbiased estimator of the population mean because in the long run, on average, you will get 4.4 uh, since the average of all of the samples is 4.4 of the all possible samples is 4.4. So the sample mean is unbiased because if we found many, many sample means of size two in this case, the mean of all the samples would equal the population mean in the long run, both of them were 4.4. That's because the average mean of sample size n equals two is 4.4. All right, here's a little diagram to show. Let's say, you know, 4.4 is what we're after and that, that's represented by the center of the target. Uh, so uh, we might be off target to one side of the target over and over and over repeatedly. So we tend, might tend to miss the target. So here we're tending to miss the bullseye. We're trying to miss the thing that we're trying to estimate. Well, we're doing it very consistently. There's low variability, but there's a lot of bias because so we're, we're way off target, but low variability because we're consistently way off target. This representation represents a lack of bias. So there's low bias here because if you average out all of the dots here where the target was hit, right, all the holes, if you average them all out, 
uh, we would tend to hit the center on the average. So we, on the average, we would uh, tend to surround the intended target. All right, if we averaged out the location of all those dots, we would be near the true answer. But there is high variability because the points are scattered. Now this would be the worst case scenario. We have a high variability and high bias both. High bias because we, uh, on the average, tend to miss the true population parameter we're after, we're off target. And there's also high variability, the dots are spread out. And this is what we want. We want low variability. Maybe if we take a larger sample size, we'll We'll, we'll look at ways to decrease the variability in this course for sure. Uh, sample size uh, increasing is one, and we tend to have lower variability, but there's no bias because if you average out all of the locations, uh, they're very close to the center of the target. And this one, you could say the same thing, there's just more variability. So this does not have bias, and this does not have bias. So that's what we want to be able to do. And if we average out all those sample means, we're on target at 4.4. So again, a statistic used to estimate a parameter is said to be an unbiased estimator if the mean of its sampling distribution, so I took the all possible means of size two, which there were 10 of, took the mean of all of those means and it was 4.4 and so was the actual population parameter when i just add up all the values in the population which there were only five and uh, got a mean of 4.4 as well for those five okay so we'll go back to this problem here where three scores were counted out of five randomly counted out of five for joe's test uh, let's take a look at a different statistic. Instead of doing a mean this time, our statistic will be a range. So let's say we're trying to, this might sound silly, but we're trying to estimate the population range by using a sample range. So here's all our samples. And in the first sample, the highest minus the lowest would be 96 minus 87. Sample range is 9. So over on the right are the ranges of the samples from samples of size three taken from these five in the top right, these five test scores. So what if we take the mean of all of this statistic, right? So going back here, uh, if the mean of the sampling distribution, okay, so here is the uh, sampling distribution of the range right here. So I should be specific in saying that of the range. It's, uh, and then I take the mean of all of those and doesn't estimate the parameter. I'm trying to estimate this time the range of the population, which we actually know to be 18. But does the mean of the sample ranges, does the mean of all these 10 ranges average out to be the range of the population, no, I don't think it possibly could because the highest value that we could even obtain for the sample range is 18. So how could those average out to be 18? Uh, they cannot, they only average out to be 12.6. So we tend to miss the target to one side every time something like this, okay, or like this, okay, maybe more, more scattered. So uh, we tend to be off target uh, consistently here, too low, too low, too low. A couple times we actually hit the target and got 18. So the population range was 18. Uh, one, two, three times we actually hit the target, but most times we missed to the low side. The end. All right, so uh, the purpose of this video was to understand what we mean by an unbiased estimator. When is a statistic an unbiased estimator? And hopefully that gave you a strong understanding. Uh, now you should be able to do all of the assigned problems for section 7.1. Uh, make sure you do that and then make sure that you do the 7.1 quiz and then you'll be ready for lessons 7.2.